hey, it's your girl Danny DMC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am bringing you a video today that you guys have probably been anticipating for a while. Last month, I brought you my unfurnished apartment tour, and today I am here to unveil my new furnished apartment and give you the full tour and rundown. I've been on the grind and on the move like I always am, so it has taken me longer than usual to get you guys this video. I also was trying to wait for a sunny day to really showcase the natural light and the beauty of my balcony and just the apartment as a whole on a nice sunny LA day. Unfortunately, the weather has been so bad in LA and I could not wait for a sunny day. Today it is raining, it just started raining, which is <clears throat> just my luck. But nothing is gonna stop us rain or shine. I'm so ready to show you guys my apartment. It is my dream apartment. I'm so happy and I'm so in love and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as me. So if you're ready to see my furnished apartment, keep watching this video and follow me. All right, you guys, I am quickly interrupting my video to let you guys know who this video is sponsored by. Clearly, I'm coming to you as a whole new woman right now. I just wrapped a shoot and I got a wig installed yesterday. Be on the lookout because I will be showcasing this beauty on my upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But that is not why I'm interrupting my own video right now. I am interrupting my own video to let you know who this video is sponsored by. So my video today is sponsored by Scentbird, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, and I'm really eager and excited to actually talk about this sponsorship because it is one that benefited me because I am always looking for perfumes and scents, and I travel all the time. So this sponsorship actually worked out in my favor, and I'm now obsessed with this brand. So I'm so glad that I am able to talk to you about a brand that I fully support and back, and want to spread the love and show you you guys a bomb company. So like I just mentioned briefly, Scentbird is a perfume company, but they also are now carrying cosmetics and skincare. So they have collabed with skincare and cosmetic lines to bring you guys samples. And basically what it is, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this because I love these. So basically what it is, it's like a trial of a perfume. So Scentbird works with over 600 brands and we're talking top tier designers like Cartier and Prada, all the way to Glossier and other more affordable brands. And basically it starts at $15 a month and you get a monthly supply. If you use my code, you'll get 30% off, so it'll be $10 for your subscription. I'll put the code below in the description box of this video. I got three scents that I'm obsessed with. They're super small, the packaging is amazing, and they come in different colors. All the ones I have are different colors. I will show you, I have like a copper, a gold, and then like a pinky, pinky mauve and they are just so perfect so they're the perfect amount you literally just turn it up like this and spray i'll put some on because i actually don't have any on right now yeah this is one of my favorites Ooh, okay so this is and then you like pull it out like this and you see they give you a generous amount this is not like a tester at sephora or anything like that this is an extremely generous amount of product you guys that's also why i'm obsessed with it you get on average 120 to 140 sprays so that is so good so this is Estee Lauder's Sensuous Nude, which if you get Scentbird, please get this scent. Like bless yourself. This is such an amazing scent. I'm really, really happy. But it's so great because you can travel with it so easily. I throw these in my bag all the time when I know like I wanna smell good or freshen up. And you literally just twist and spray. It's very nice and you could just pull to take it out. So I got the Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. That is my first one. And then I got the, this is the Versace Bright Crystal, which I've actually tried before. And I love this one a lot. The other two I got because I'd never tried them and wanted to. This one I got because I know I like it. Last one I got is a Cartier. I asked them to send me a good Cartier. I didn't like pick a specific one. And this is Eau de Cartier. And it also smells so good. I love all these scents, whichever one, like they're in these little black bags. So I just throw whichever one. I don't even need to pick one because they all smell so good. But honestly, I'm so glad that Scentbird sponsored this video because it really gave me the opportunity to try them out. And honestly, I'm telling you, sis, listen to me get a subscription with them. These are so awesome. Be sure to check them out. You guys know I do not just take sponsorships from brands. I really have to believe in you and Scentbird was something I really wanted to try out and I was not biased either way. I did not know if they were going to be good, if I was going to like it, if the scent was going to be pure and smell like the actual thing, but I literally do not have one complaint about these things and I love them so much. They go with me everywhere and I smell so good right now. I'm still smelling the Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. So I will also put the links to the scents I got or put the titles of the scents I got below if you want to order those. And I think your first monthly subscription, you get one perfume, but then you can upgrade to get two to three per month. So this is definitely a deal. Make sure you guys hit them up. I will put all the information below. And again, Scentbird, thank you for sponsoring this video. Okay, come in. 
so one of my favorite pieces of all is one of the first items you see when you walk in my house, which is this floor to ceiling mirror that I got from Macy's that I love so much. I love that I can check myself out when I leave my house. I can check myself out when I come back in and so can my guests. So I feel like it's a great piece to have right when you walk in. So I love this baby. Next, as you come in, you can see some art. I have an Andy Warhol right here with nice lips. I love that piece so much. And then I got this piece at an art auction and it is by a Chinese artist who takes Chinese art from like long, long, long time ago and makes it more modern. As you can see, she has Balenciaga sneakers on. She has a Chanel bag sitting on a Porsche and it says my birthday, which I did not notice, 413, 2018, obviously I wasn't born in 2018, but 413 and I didn't notice that until after I bought the painting. So I love this, this is like my fashion inspo right here. So I love this piece so much. Then right here we have my washer and dryer. And I have luggage stored up there and all my cleaning supplies for the house and to do laundry. Then if you come over here, this is the big open space that is my apartment. And right away you see this huge couch. This is from Z Gallery and it's called like the Deep Ventura Sofa or something like that. It is so deep. When you take all the cushions off, it's like a full queen size bed. It's unreal. But I love the color of this so much. It's like an icy gray. And I feel like it really plays off the charcoal and gray that's in the cement ground, but also like bounces and accents the white walls and the white ceiling. So I really like that as well. And then as you can see, I got a couple white and gray throws to kind of, you know, balance out the couch. And then I got these white pillows also from Z Gallery to give the pop of white and bring out the walls and the ceilings as well. All right, next is one of my favorite parts of my apartment. All of them are my favorite. I'm gonna keep saying that, but I really do love this. And this is my closet. So it's like a little walk-in closet. First, my sister got me this painting that says you are exactly where you need to be, which I constantly need that as a reminder. So I love that and come in. So this is my closet. I have jackets here, like any type of tops, coats, hoodies. Then I have bags that I wear on a pretty fairly basis besides Gucci, we're not a fan of. Then we have some of my bigger bags up here and some bags I put from shopping that I liked for a little accent, a little decoration. And then I have storage up here. I have like bathing suits and sheets, things like that. Then I have um, shirts over here. I have two piece sets, dresses over here. I have jeans and bottoms over here and I have body suits and athletic wear over here. And then if you come over here, I have all of my shoes, heels, and then I also have different storage that I use on a daily basis. So I have my underwear basket, my socks basket, my PJs, my bras, and any sh like really, really small crop tops, sports bras, anything like that, my hats, a couple belts, and then I have some shoes stored up there in these boxes as well. So my closet is very, very big and there's so much space in the bottom, up top for storage, which I need so much because I have so many things. So this closet is a dream for me. I love that I can walk into it. I can change in here. I can close it if I have people over. So this closet is literally a dream and I'm so happy. It's so much better than my old closet. Okay, now let's go to my kitchen. So if you come over here, now we're in the kitchen. <laughs> Like I showed you guys in my unfurnished video, all of the appliances, everything about this kitchen, the backsplash here, everything is brand new, which I showed you guys um, the difference between how it looked originally and how it looked after the construction. But I love this kitchen, it's very, very nice. This is my fridge and freezer, if you wanna take a peek. I always keep it stocked, I am a big cooker and I like to make my own food a lot. So I always try to keep my fridge full. My freezer is jam packed, my freezer is a little small, it's just not great like organization wise, so I do kind of have to shove stuff in there, but it's not the end of the world. I like that the freezer is on top. My old place, I had a split fridge and freezer, so both were very small, which I hated. So here we come over, this is my dishwasher, which I've never used. I like to hand wash my dishes. So I have a dish rack that I keep up there that I normally use. I have not used a dishwasher at all yet. I have some nuts and pasta, and these are not just for display. I eat out of them and my guests eat out of them, so you can tell they're not completely full. So then we have the sink. I love this black faucet. I think it's so beautiful and smooth. I love the black counters as well. 
and I really tried to accent it with a lot of marble to bring in some of that white. So I have a marble soap holder, paper towel holder, utensil holders. I also have a pepper holder, and then I have a salt holder, which I keep Himalayan sea salt in this. And then in these cabinets, I love these because they're nice and tall and they each have three shelves. So I have snacks and food in here. I have containers and storage in here. I have spices and all of my cooking things in here, anything I cook with or spices, herbs, oils, anything like that, sauces, um, rubs, anything. I, like I said, I love to cook, so I have it all. And then we have my oven, which is really nice, and stovetop. I love that I have a gas stove. I did not have that before, and it is really, really nice. I feel like it cooks the food better, to be honest. Um, I also love the gray of these cabinets. I feel like it adds to all the colors that I have going on, which makes me very happy. So that's my kitchen. Um, it's short and sweet, but I love it. It's the perfect amount of space for me. I have room to prepare food, to cook food, to put food away, do my dishes, clean my dishes. So it's a really nice kitchen. I'm very happy with it. Over here I have my trash can if you guys are wondering where I keep my trash. I got this trash can from Container Store. It's Kohler brand. It was like kind of expensive, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. And then another big part of my kitchen I cannot forget is my dining room table, which I love so much. People always sit here. It also extends and can pull out so you can fit like four more chairs here, which is really nice when I have a lot of people over. And I just have it kind of floating, which I love. I think that it adds a lot to the apartment and takes up some good space and gives it a little flair that I like. So I love this table, I think it adds a lot. Also, Tyler got me a really cute card for Valentine's Day, so I'm keeping that on my table for now too. So then we will back up into my home studio. This is where all the magic happens for YouTube. I have my camera, my lighting, I have some of my lighting over here as well. My clothing rack that you guys always see. And I did a little DIY project, thanks to Brie, shout out to Brie Martinez, for helping me figure out how to create my own lighting without having to pay someone to come do it. Okay, and then I wanna show you guys my balcony. It stopped raining, so let's go out really quick for like two seconds while it is not raining. And I have two little tables out here from CB2, and then I have this mini outdoor couch, which is from CB2 as well. And then I have this egg chair, which I love. This is my favorite, favorite piece on my balcony, or one of my favorite pieces, period, from Hay Needle, which I love. And then look at this gorgeous view with these palm trees. Oh, it's a dream. So I love this balcony, and once the weather gets better, we'll be out here all the time. So then, because my studio is right here, I have, this is like my PR corner, which isn't super organized. I need to get an organization system in this corner, but this is all the clothing I'm set. All of my PR boxes are all over here. And I also was sent a suitcase from Cowpack, but it's massive, which I need, but it will not fit where I have my other suitcases or under my bed. So not quite sure what to do with that. And this is my vanity. I have an impressions vanity, which I love so much. And this actual desk part of the vanity is from Ikea, and then I got some glass cut for the top of it. I have drawers and storage, tons of lipstick, setting powders. I got the whole setup. I also have a Reiki mirror, which I love so much for closer makeup. So this is my little section over here to get glammed, which I love so much. Then, as you back up a little bit, we are onto my bed. So this is my bed, which I love so much. Super comfy, it's a queen size bed. I got it from some bed mattress store in LA. I forget where right now, I'm blanking, but it's a really, really great bed. A little expensive, but it does wonders. I also have this tapestry, which is from Urban Outfitters, which I love, the upside down pineapple. It gives me a little tropical feel. I also have my nightstand here, which is from CB2, which I love. My lamp is from Ikea. And then this curtain comes with the apartment, which I love so much. And it actually comes all the way out. I'm gonna show you. So it comes really far, which I love because it's great if people are over, people are sleeping over. And again, it's white, so it adds to the flavor that I already have going on in the apartment. So I love this so much, I think it adds a lot. Now you can come into my living room. So first I have this girl boss sign, which is so bomb. I got some Urban Outfitters a couple years ago, which I love. I have a mirror my sister made me, which means so much to me. She put a bunch of different clippings from magazines she cut out to inspire me, which I love. My sister is the best. This I have full of storage. I have 
uh, my jewelry, I have sunglasses. As you can see, if you come a little bit closer, I put some marble lining down in these drawers, which I love because you can see I'm trying to do the whites and the grays, and it keeps everything really still so I can move this and my glasses won't go all over the place. I also have jewelry and makeup bags and lots of little things that I keep in here. Then you come into the main living area and I have this hide here that I got from heynagle.com, which I love as well. Then if you come over here, I have two clear acrylic side tables, which I love so much. I have my remotes on them right now, but they are perfect for eating on the couch, drinking, when you have guests over, if we all wanna set our drinks down, put your laptop on and work. I edit on these all the time, so they are super functional, and I feel like they go so well with the apartment, and they're really, really light. You can move them, and they're very easy to move, which I love as well. Then you come over here, and I have two displays, both from Ikea, with lots of art and books and candles, which I love. I have my 50-inch TV that I love so much. I just got it not too long ago. I have an um, tic-tac-toe board that I got from Z Gallery as well, which I love. It's acrylic, so it matches the side tables. I have these designer books that I got from a woman on Etsy, which I love so much. I feel like it adds elegance to the apartment and my style and brings in the black, white, and grays. Again, this TV stand I got from a Japanese company. It was very expensive, but I can't remember right now where it was from, but I'll put it below in my description box. So then if you look over here, I have this picture of the Prada store. This is a real Prada store in Texas, and I love this so much I got some Urban Outfitters, but I did have to get it framed myself. It was not framed, so I took it to Michael's to get framed. Then if you come over here, I have two more pieces of art. One is from Z Gallery and the other is from Urban Outfitters. I'm obsessed with the water and I love the pink sand mixing with the water here. I love this piece so much, I think it's beautiful. I also have an infatuation with surfers. I do not know how to surf, but I think surfing is so cool. And then I just have some gold and pink um, displayed in this picture here or painting here from Z Gallery, which I love and I think it gives a pop of color to the apartment. Then if you come in here, we will see my bathroom. So this is my bathroom, which I love so much. It's very spacious, as you can see. It is all redone. They redid all of this as well before the apartment was a lot older, not as modern. And I love the pieces that they've added. I love the black faucet, again, matching the kitchen sink and the black countertops as well. It's super clean. I also love how they have this vanity light. It's so nice and I love looking at it and taking pictures in it, it's super cute. I also have a mirror that comes out for more storage in here, which I love, super convenient. Then I put this rack in myself just to hold my towels, some candles, brushes, a little reminder, and some poopery. I love poopery. Just spray it in the toilet before you go and it doesn't smell because no one likes to smell. Then I have um, a nice little window here and you can't see through it, but it gives you some natural light, which I really like as well. My towels, some art I have from Sasha Martoni, who is an amazing artist. I collabed with her a while ago on Instagram and her pieces are amazing. And then if you come over here, I have my shower. I have my Chicago train line shower curtain. This is the real train line in Chicago. And it just gives me a reminder of home, which I love so much. And then this is my shower, pretty basic, but very nice. It has a really nice shower head and it's really good. I like it a lot. It's a lot cleaner and nicer than my old shower. And this is a brand new tub, so no one has ever been in it, so I can take baths in it. Oh my gosh, I've lived in so many apartments and I've never taken a bath in the tub because I'm a clean freak and it really freaks me out that other people have sat in it and soaked in it. I don't care how much they clean it, but this is a brand new tub, so it is all mine, which I love so much. And that is my bathroom. So you guys, we are done. This is my furnished apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing the inside of my home and how I chose to decorate it. Please comment below and let me know your favorite part. If you have any questions, I will definitely be sure to answer them. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I always have good content coming for you guys. As you can see, I brought another banger, right? So make sure you hit that big red button below. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Or if you are new, welcome to the fam. And until next time, go out, be confident, and take on the world. Now it's time for me to have some alone time in my beautiful home. So you guys gotta get out. Take one last glance because that's all you get.